Welcome back to the channel. Good to have you back. My name is Ben. I'm the controversial cyclist and I am a massive c -nut, but it takes a c -nut to know a fucking c -nut, and this is what we do on this channel is we out cycling c -nuts. So who's the fucking c -nut today? Well, as you can see in front of us, we've got a huge crash in Dwarz, Dwarz Door Van Deren. Okay, which wipes out Wout Van Art. My Dutch, I apologise, is terrible. And if it's Flemish, I apologise because my Flemish is terrible. They're both non-existent and I cannot speak either. But one thing I have got is Tourette's. And obviously I'm quite good at swearing because I have got that. But I, uh, this salty language is going to stay. So if you don't like that, please get out of here. Now, this is a short video. We're going to cover this because how does this link in? Well, it links into the aero marginal gains at the excessive Fucking Darth Lord, Darth Vader, Gimp helmets, all Alex Delta shilling bullshit from the wind tunnel to say what happens when this goes fucking wrong. And this is not out of my mouth, okay? This is the information from the Eurosport commentators. So this is why the captions were on, but I cannot, for copyright reasons, allow the speech over the top and I will zoom into the parts which they are there. So, but I want to highlight this because this is a fucking horrific crash. Horrific crash. Um, as bad as motorcycle crashes, really, I'd say, but a big group of motorcycles in this case, you know, okay, it'd be worse because the motorcycles are obviously bigger and heavier. I would, I now digress, but this was a big, bad crash. Without further ado, let's look at this from the captions and see where they think this gust of wind, this side wind has come from, which is a regular, regular thing in the classics um, and any races, you know, around Holland and things like that. Uh, Belgique, Holland borders, things like this. Flatlands, crosswinds, terrible. You cannot negotiate those crosswinds, okay? And gusts of winds and changing winds. If you go full aero, they are fucking amplified. These guys weren't even full aero. But from what they're saying, the touch of wheels happened from a crosswind that cut through the houses and has caused this horrific accident. It's food for thought, guys. Now, I'm not saying don't go aero. I'm just saying when Alex Dalset and all these other fucking neuro fucking wannabe pro, pro fucking, you know, Chris Miller cycling show, Cam Nichols, aero, 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 lack of drag, fucking bollocks. And they're coming out with all this fucking kit that you got to buy. I'm saying it's bordering on dangerous now. So I'd say go semi-aero at most for changeable conditions at most and save your fucking money and try and spend your money elsewhere or just don't spend it and spend more time on the bike and try and get fitter if that's your fucking thing. If not, just get out, ride your bike and fucking enjoy it. Anyway, I digress. Let's have a look at this crash. I'll zoom in a bit. They, they, they're just fucked. There's Van Art. Looks like he's been blown up. That's horrific. Absolutely horrific. So you can see Wout Van Art there. Look, it looks like that someone's actually let a grenade off and blown them all apart. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that rash. Good bruising, gravel rash. Fucking hell. Bikes everywhere. Oh, guys lying in the fetal position. Oh my God. Oh my God. Absolutely horrific. So from commentary there, they're telling you that even the guys, they're really, it's that painful, they're in tears. Fucking horrific. Absolutely horrific. So. They are covering this. Let's have a look at what the cause is. Wow. You can see on the pan here, nothing from left or right, have turned the center, little gust of wind, touch of wheels, moving at 50, 60 k's an hour. Dick Van Dyke, I mean Tim Van Dyke, touching the top of his hat. There's Wout Van Aert, beat up, blown up, absolutely fucked. Now, like I was saying before, and like I had from the Alex Dalset fanboys and girls and all the kickbacks saying, you haven't got a fucking clue what you're going on about. Crosswinds aren't a threat. They test for you in the wind tunnel. What more can they do? The highlight of this is that fucking wind tunnel bicycle test for your angles up to what? 
I don't know, 40, maximum 40 degrees maybe. So yes, but that bike is also fucking nailed to the floor. Or say nailed to the floor, bolted to the floor, uh, or it's held into the rollers that are, you know, basically it's held into position, no matter how hard that or how much that wind gets. Now, bearing in mind that when you're racing and these guys are probably up to 30 mil tires now, 28, 30 mil, maybe even 32, maybe, you know, whatever they were racing on today, that's still a fucking tiny patch. Um, you are quite high up when you're cycling and it's all low weight. So the weight of the riders, I mean, they they weigh fuck all. You know, they weigh nothing. There's, there's more meat on a butcher's fucking pencil than that's on these guys. The sprinters are a bit heavier. They've got a bit more muscle mass to put down. But they're not going to hold the bikes down. The bikes are lightweight, even though we complain about the disc brakes and stuff like that. And then you just add aero into the fucking mix of, a, you know, a 50, 60 mil rim. You've got it on the cards, guys. And all that takes is the outer guy to blow into the other and it's game over. Now, if what they're saying is true there, crosswinds are a massive threat. They've always been a massive threat. It takes a lot of tactics to ride into crosswinds. But if this was a gust of wind coming through between two houses across the flatlands, they had no fucking chance. You on the road with full aero and riding full aero everywhere to get your marginal gains as you're on the main road and there's fucking 30, 40 ton trucks coming you be my fucking guest. That's all that I was saying from the point of Alex Dalset's fucking echo chamber, or should I call it wind tunnel chamber fucking life that he probably lives and breathes in that fucking dog shit wind tunnel. Goes back to the days when he was onto the wind tunnel fucking track cycling fucking bullshit. It doesn't equate to anything on the road. So when I mean it equates to anything on the road, yes, he will get error gains in certain conditions, but there are fucking fundamental flaws that can work against you. And that was my highlight in this is how much money you're putting out for these marginal gains and what are these marginal gains and what line is it where it crosses into a safety issue for your marginal gains. I mean, I had a good laugh at everyone looking like a complete fucking Darth Lord gimp boy or gimp girl, if, you know, to be sexually correct and diverse these days or anything else you want to, you know, fucking class yourself as, we'll add that too. But um, it's not gender specific, is it? But, you know, seriously, you can see the outcome of what that is. Now, imagine you're on the main road and you cycle in Scotland and you're in highly high crosswinds. It's down for you to actually use your knowledge and go, like, is this kick going to work for me? Or am I just blindly buying bullshit from some guy in a Surrey fucking wind tunnel talking out of his fucking ass to make more money? Guys, you do the math. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. Just a quick video, just a quick follow up. But obviously it's just not all, you know, I don't just sit here and have a laugh for a laugh's sake. Uh, we try to make things quite funny. We do out the fucking bullshit. And so who is the scene up today? Well, I can't be mad at God for making wind because it's extremely fucking useful. But it just isn't when it's against you or blowing to the side of you when you're cycling. But um, obviously speak to a sailor and he fucking love the wind. No C-nuts in this one, guys. Just highlights how much of an asshole Alex Dalset really is when he doesn't actually test or educate people on the dangers of crosswinds and high sidewinds in aero conditions. So just take that to heed and take that in your head. I wouldn't listen to Chris... Chris Schiller cycling and, you know, Cam, Cam the Scam Nichols, when they go on about aero, it's just fucking not even worth anything because what, what have they really done? But anyway, hey-ho, I digress. From the horse's mouth, there you go. I'll be back with more out in absolute fucking sea nuts very soon. Thank you for your support. This is a, just a quick insight um, into a horrific crash and uh, how aerodynamics is not always your friend or how it can work against you and end you up losing some fucking teeth and skin. Ciao for now, guys. See you in the next one.